There are some things that every Division I athlete needs, hard work, endurance, and probably a little talent. Well, senior middle blocker Quentin Smith has all of that and more. He's got a little magic on his side. Quentin's magic is mind-bottling. I think it's mind-boggling, because I think that's the correct term. I've seen the same tricks 20 times, and I'm still flabbergasted by the end of every single one. I really actually believe in magic when I see him do it, even though I know there's no such thing as magic. Quinton has been polishing his magic tricks ever since he became a member of the International Brotherhood of Magicians at the age of 11. Well, Quinton put the magic show on for us, and like Fuji, I wanted to believe magic's real. Look, I want you to sign this card, okay? okay. Sign it big, all over the two of hearts. I just picked the two of hearts since there's a lot of room to write. So just, I want you to sign it so that um, every time you see it, we'll know that that is your card, okay? Okay. There's no way I could um, have a duplicate card with this signature. I mean, it's still fresh, okay? So, um, okay, here we go. So, two of hearts, pay attention. This is what's gonna happen. I'm gonna set it down in the center. Okay, you can see it's not on the bottom. You can see it's not on the top. That's because I haven't done the magic move. Here comes the magic move. I'll riffle it just like that, and your card will jump. Okay? So most people want to see that again. I'll try and move, not move too fast, but I riffle. Do the magic move, and your card will jump to the top. How do you do that? Now the problem is, the problem is, um, people don't think I'm actually putting it in the center of the deck. So I'm going to leave the card sticking out and put it in the center of the center. So there's no, no doubt that it actually is in the middle of the deck. You can see it's not on the bottom. You can see it's not on the top. Because I haven't done the magic move. Here comes the magic move. Okay, there it goes. Oh my gosh. Now the problem is I'm kind of cheating because all the cards look the same from the back. And I never show you the face. So I'm going to crimp this card. I'm going to crimp your card. So I'm put it in the center. You can see that there is in fact a crimp. I don't know if the camera can catch that. But you'll verify. There is, there there is, is a crimp. There okay. Is. So this will be exciting because you'll see the exact moment that the magic happens. All right, ready? There it comes. I can feel it moving. I know you can't see it yet, but you will. Like oh my gosh. It didn't take a sleight of hand, though, for Quinton to get onto one of the best volleyball teams in the nation. His dream to play at BYU began at a volleyball camp in junior high when Carl McGowan told him that someday, if he really wanted to, he could play Division I volleyball. So I wrote it down and that kind of became, uh, not kind of, that became my goal from then on out. Quinton redshirted his freshman year and afterwards went on a two-year LDS mission to Brazil. When he returned to BYU, he found a new coach and no room for him on the team. One day though, Quinton received an unexpected message. We leave class and I get a text from the coach at the time and the text says, I've got one more roster spot and I'd like you to have it. And so I was like, what? The text message? Is this happening? Well, he's worked his butt off. He gave up a job in Wall Street to play his senior year here. Now he's one of our captains. Um, it's one of the, probably one of the greatest stories BYU men's volleyball has ever heard of or been a part of. Brooke Davis, BYU TV Sports.